Hi everyone, I'm Mike Staver. This is Money's with Mike, a weekly show where I answer questions sent in from folks like yourselves. Here we go. Dear Mike, you just got back from a 41 day, 12,000 mile plus trip around the perimeter of the USA. You were in seven national parks. You met all kinds of people. I'm just interested. What was your biggest lesson during the trip? And at any time did you wish you could just turn around and go home because it was a bad idea? Uh, so for those of you that don't know, I did just get back this last weekend from a trip for 41 days where I rode my Harley Davidson around the perimeter of the United States counterclockwise. So I went up to Maine from Florida, across the top, down the California coast, <clears throat> back across the bottom, down to Key West, and then got home two days before Labor Day. Let me, ask, <clears throat> let me answer your last question first. There was never a single time in the entire 41 days, whether it was a driving thunderstorm that I was riding in, whether it was a, a wind, heat, beauty, there was never a second where I said, this is a bad idea, I want to go home. There were numerous times where I thought, how could I extend this and how could I ride longer? I met an old guy in Terlingua, Texas, who walked up to me as a biker, it was this little ghost town in Texas, and he said something to me. It's like a, it's like a, like a Clint Eastwood town, and he said, son, stay out here as long as you can, because there's nothing back there that's any better than what's out here. And then he turned and walked away. I thought that was the coolest thing I've ever heard anyone say. I don't know that it's true, but it was such an awesome line. So no, I never regret it. My biggest lesson was that often, and maybe this will change tomorrow because it changes every day, but often we look at big things in life and we have these big ideas and, and we allow those little voices in our head to talk us out of them. You know, there are a lot of people who said I was crazy to try to ride that long. A lot of people were worried that it was too dangerous. Some people said, how can you be away from your business for 41 days? You must be rich. You must be retired. No, I'm not rich. And no, I'm not retired. What I learned was that if you set your mind to something and you think really big and you dream really big and you do not allow the naysayers to drag you down and you keep looking to the horizon and saying, that's what I'm going to accomplish. That's exactly what you'll accomplish. I don't want to give you any illusions that there weren't setbacks, that it wasn't expensive, that there were times over the last 12 months where we were planning it where we weren't exactly sure how it was going to go. But I will tell you that precise planning, radical commitment, enormous passion, and never doubting for a second that I'd accomplish it is what drove me to success. I'm wondering if there are places like that in your life. Are you planning too safe? Are you not thinking big enough? Are you not launching large enough? Are you not seeing things big enough? You don't have to get on a Harley Davidson and ride for 41 days and 12,000 miles, but there's something you need to do, and you've been wanting to do it for some time. And if you haven't, I'd encourage you to get around people to, exp to expand you, your horizons, make you think bigger, larger. That's what happened with me. Who knows what we'll do next? But once you've ridden 12,000 miles in 41 days on a Harley Davidson, there's very little that you think you can't do, uh, that you can't try, that you can't think through. It's going to make a difference in my business. It's already made a difference in my own life. I hope it'll make a difference in yours. Think big, dream big, play big. Till next time, this is Mike Staver. This is Money's with Mike. Take care. Bye-bye.